Oh, he's gonna go for it. He's where come on. There we go. No. Oh, get it. <laughs> oh. oh, he inked. Time to get it, Dark Come back to the see. right. They just inked that ball of darkness. That's ink. Okay. Oh, yeah. oh, you got him! <laughs> <laughs> he, squirted, he just squirted all over his dog. Let me see. Bring him to me. Look at that. How cool. Alright, we're going in the water. So, what's the uh, natural, so to say, Feeders of, of squid. Uh, everything that swims in the ocean. Really? Yeah. <laughs> That's like being low man in the swimming pool. Yeah, definitely. Low <laughs> <laughs> ah, they just, they just squirted me. <laughs> <laughs> Dang it. I was just trying to get that squid off the hook and he just squirted so much water at my face. Did you get I, that on uh, video? No, I was filming the squid. Dang, I just took a shower. It's just salt water, I think. Okay. It's not ink. Uh, yeah, there's some ink. Stop. I swear to God. Dang. Yes. I'll get you a paper towel. Is there a light that we can put on in the deck back over here? Mm -hmm. Oh, God, that's a good one. All right, get in there. You take them off. Hold on. Yeah, don't put them in the water because they'll fill up with the... Uh, water? Fill up with the schmoo. Oh, man. Did you just get squirted? Yeah, I got squirted. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez. Got you good too. Yeah. What is going on everyone? It's Kelly here. We are here in Cape Cod. We got Andrew over here, the owner of this gorgeous Dorothy Dorothy? Dorothy Marie. Dorothy Marie. Y'all already know Anthony. If you guys have seen my videos two years ago, we were squid fishing in this exact location, but at the other pier right over there, probably around like 1 a.m. and we were just slaying the squid. It was myself, Blue Gabe, Anthony, and Pirate from the Wicked Tuna. Probably one of the best nights of my life, but right now we have the green lights on under the boat here and it's attracting all the squid. As you can see right here in this screen that I took on my phone, there's probably 100 squid, 100 squid under the boat right now. Good old P Town. What is going on with the screen right now? And I was trying to get Anthony's second squid in the live well, and it squirted a bunch of ink and water on me, so that's why I have this. Yeah, I kind of forgot they did that. We got one, two, that's a big squid right there. You see them all lit up? Yeah, that's our blue tuna bait right and there. Here's another. Oh, oh, he Spray inked all in the water. Tuna. Bring him here. Oh, off the boat? <laughs> yeah, we definitely put that on the down rod. Squid? Uh, oh, yeah, oh. the squid. He came off perfectly. Mm -hmm. All right, let me see if I can catch one. That's what we're using for bait. It's a tiny little squid jig. I actually bought some squid jigs from Bass Pro right before I came over here. However, where are they? Here's one. They're kind of like huge and heavy and massive, which I don't think they're going to work for the squid here because Anthony don't want to use it. So we're not using it. <laughs> All right, let's see if I can catch one. That's a tiny here. Yeah, this one's so little. It's so little, it's hard to even like get out there in the water. There they go. They kind of like just swim around and make their rounds. Like, over okay. here. Oh, that's a big one. Oh, there's a nice school of them right there. Oh, one just came up. You gave me one two years ago. Yeah. You gave me one two years ago that had like a light on it or something. Yeah, some of them glow in the dark. Oh, there's all different. Uh... That was a good one. I think our squid, I find there's a, one that Yozuri makes. Oh, got him! Oh, dang it. 
fucking pin off. They're looking at it. We just balance it down there. Keep right. balancing it. Keep look balancing at them all. it. Look at them. Look at them all in the water. Oh yeah. Look at them all. Try to just blast it out there. They're right in here. Lucky. Now I just use my wrist and just kind of twitch, 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 twitch. You got it. Got him. Oh, oh! Dang it! That was a big squid. Good one. You lost it? Yeah. Good one. Better come back. Gosh, there's oh, he's got it. God, he inked. He inked and then he just didn't want to it. Whoa, 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 whoa. That one's inking all over the place. Oh, that one's not. Oh, look at him. Are you looking at it squirting all over the place? That's a big one. Look at this. Look at it change cut. Let's get it in the light. Come over here. Look at that. That's a really nice one. It's bigger than my foot. If you look real closely, look at this. It changes so erratically. What a unique animal. Check him out. Yes. That's the tender one. That's the tender one. <laughs> That's the young little tender one. <laughs> Listen, I ain't gonna lie to you guys. I've been struggling to catch these squid and Anthony's like, all right, here's the rod. And he gives me the rod and I feel a little tug on it. And I'm like, did you hook me one? So yeah, he just hooked me to squid and gave me the rod. <laughs> Do not squirt on me. Oh, oh, no, no, no. It was just water, just water. Dang, he's really eating this one. Well. All right, this little corner right here. All right. Just let a bunch of line out. Were you pretty deep? In the yeah, water? like just to the point where you can't see the squid jig anymore. Mm -hmm. Like right there, you got him. Let him sit. Let it sit. You got it. Let's jerk. Oh. You gotta give it a good little. All right. Keep it right in the dark light. Right in the dark. Got him! Oh! oh. <laughs> it's alright. Jump back down there. All I need is one. One and I'll be happy. Anthony already filled the live well. I can't even see it. That ink kind of... I wonder what their ink is actually made out of. You know, like what is what does it consist of? I don't know. Poop. The ink. <laughs> he said who? He said poop. Oh. Mm. I don't know. Mm. Like if you feel the pressure, just give it a little yeah. you know, a good little tug up. Got That's him. him. That's him. Oh well, gosh, Kelly. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm letting him make it out. Woo. I'm letting him make it out. Ooh, oh, he's purple. Look at him. 
He ain't happy. Please don't come off. You done? Oh. So here, this is what is squidding. <laughs> the main compound in squidding is melanin, which is the pigment responsible for the ink star color. Also That's a huge squid, Kelly. Yes. determine your skin color. That is a good size squid. You just pull that one up? Yes. See? This is my first official squid. Ooh. That's the biggest one. That's almost as long as your arm. Yeah, <laughs> it's like my forearm with my hands, my fingers. That's crazy. What did you say it was made out of? The squidding? It's like a pigmentation. Well, well, I mean, yeah, like the same pigmentation that makes your skin color. Huh, it's interesting. Melon. Google fact check this. Not, yeah, we just uh, did this. <laughs> I'm looking at Google right it's now. It's not, I, I can't say that word. Malone, Malone. Mal Mal like the, the skin pigmentation, not melatonin. It's basically, they're coming in like a mucus. Now he's all white, change color. He was very <laughs> colorful in the water. He's probably all colored out now. Gosh, that's so sick. when you take them out of the water, they lose the color. Mm-hmm. They're holding up for the camera. Woo, I don't want him to bite me. Yeah, no, they'll do that. One now thinking about it. So two years ago, listen. If you guys don't know who I am or don't watch my channel, everything bites me. It's just a matter of time before it bites me. Um, I was handling a squid. I think I was talking to the camera. I was distracted, and my and their little tentacles are so fast. And you wrap the tentacles around my finger and bit me. So I definitely got bit by a squid before. Actually, I'll go ahead and play that clip right now of a squid biting me. So, check this out. This is like probably five times bigger than the first one I caught. We're getting into the big schools of them and literally when I hooked this one, I saw probably about 20 more at the surface. Those little spots are changing color. Oh my God, they're insane. And then his little tentacles, look. Ow, he bit me. He just bit me. <laughs> oh, you little stinker. Oh, he got me. Ooh, you're bleeding. I'm not bleeding, but dang, that hurt. I'm gonna eat you for that. We're gonna get right back to catching this fish, but first I wanna give a huge shout out to ExpressVPN for sponsoring today's video. Have you ever been searching for a topic or a product and now you see it all over the internet? Well, this is because one of the ways you can be tracked online is through your internet service provider, like AT&T or Verizon who can see every single website you visit and is legally allowed to sell this information to advertisers who can then target you with ads. But with VPN, which is short for Virtual Private Network, creates a secure tunnel between your device and the internet. In other words, pretend like a postcard is your personal information, your data. VPN puts an envelope around that postcard so nobody can see it. ExpressVPN encrypts your network data with the best in-class encryption. They will reroute 100% of your network traffic through their secure encrypted servers. What ExpressVPN does is it masks your device's unique IP address, making it much more difficult for big tech and advertisers to match your activity back to you and collect your data. It also lets you change your online location. They have 94 countries you can choose to appear from, allowing you to access content from sites and services only available in those other countries. ExpressVPN's the best in the game. It's got the fastest speeds, 24 seven customer support. It's super easy to use. You just fire up the app and click a button. My favorite part is that it uses trusted server technology and makes it physically impossible for ExpressVPN's VPN services to store any logs of their customers. And it's also the top VPN rated provider. I personally recommend ExpressVPN because let's face it, all of our social media apps already know so much personal information already. So why let them know what we're thinking too? To find out how you can get three months free of ExpressVPN, go in the link in the description below this video or go to expressvpn.com slash island key to learn more. So we probably have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. We probably have like 14 squid in our live well right now. But before we go back to squid fishing, I want to show you guys this really cool shark that I've never seen in person before come and try to eat our bluefin tuna bait which is a bluefish 
that. That's kind of the, that's the fish you saw in the live well that was on the bottom. At first we thought it was a, it was a small great white, but then it came back. The tail's a little long, so we're like, oh maybe it's a thresher. But we're like, I don't know, maybe thresher's tails are even longer. So I zoomed into the footage, and Anthony and I were like, oh it's a blue shark. Then I sent the footage to my captain John, who I used to work with on the shark boat in Jupiter. And he's like, that's a thresher, 100%. So I'm still doing a little bit more research on that photo, but we think it's like 90% a thresher, 10% a big old blue shark. So watch this, insanely cool. Anthony was reeling in that bait slowly, and that shark was just coming in behind it, just checking it out, checking it out. Um, but sharks are really smart, you know, they don't want to get hurt. They are very skeptical, they're very cautious. So he didn't strike it as fast as you think he would, because he was kind of curious, like this bait's moving away from me in a weird, you know, a fish swims fast, not eases when you reel the rod. So he didn't get hooked. He just came and checked out the bait. He spit the bait when he came to the boat actually. So that was super cool. I'd almost rather see a shark than tuna, but still here for the bluefin tuna. Is it a great white? It's so crazy how their tentacles expand so much. Like these guys are literally only this long. Look, that's so weird. Hello. They just did a push up. Oh, look at that. They just turned purple. Look at that. That's sick. He's about to turn clear. <laughs> turn clear. That's crazy. <laughs> Such unique animals. And yeah, he's on there pretty good. He's holding on tight. Sacrifices must be made for the monsters. <laughs> <laughs> Look at all this. The Listen. Oh. <laughs> this is... me. Just turn around. Oh, that looks like a Dalmatian. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty colors. <laughs> that thing exploded. Yeah, right, that thing. <laughs> what would be the biggest squid you've caught? I've seen them offshore on Jeffreys that I swore it was every bit of four feet long really? and as big around as like a, I don't know what you call it. Like a, like a wiffle Volleyball, ball I guess. Like just massive. Mm -hmm. I've only seen it. Like, Was it deep dropping? Once. But I think there's some big squid out here. That's a good one. Yeah, that's like the one I caught. Oh look, he's got a little ink right there. Mm -hmm. Oh, that was a good water entry. Gosh, I hate when they go for it and then they just kind of like ease away. They're getting a little more fired up. Yeah, now. they are. I get too excited. Missed them all. Keep taking our brothers away. Oh, You got have calamari tomorrow. <laughs> calamari for lunch. Kind of calamari is it squids or octopus? This is calamari. So, octopus is actually squidgy. No, squidgy is. What? 
Oh, you ripped his tentacle off. See, I tried to set the hook, and I got his little tentacle. Ah. It's still moving. They'll eat it. It's like a lizard tail. I thought it hit you right in the cheek. Oh, it is kind of hit me in the cheek a little bit. Um, so we've been bluefin tuna fishing for two days. We've been, we've been sleeping on a boat. Poor Anthony's got about two hours of sleep in five days. But this is what I really look forward to this trip is coming back here to Cape Cod and catching these squid. And I didn't think it was going to happen because we were all tired and I already showered. And I was like, oh, I don't know, whatever. I'm not going to go catch squid. And then Anthony's like, Got the squid jigs, Kelly, and I'm like, dang it, let me go change. So that's what we're out here doing. I'm glad I found them. It's just those little, yeah, the smaller the better. They like them. I don't yeah, know why. They're huge. I think those are for offshore. Yeah, probably. Those are, uh, they never, these are the ones we have in the contender. Yup. Yeah, those little buggers look good. Got them. Good. 
just peel right off. You can eat the wings too, but I think they're just going to be a little tough. hard to kind of grip onto them. There you go, and it peels. It's kind of like if you were to skin a frog for frog legs, it peels right off. There we go. You just got to clean this up with some fresh water, get all the ink out of it. But that right there is your calamari. I'm going to try to cut it lightly to where it doesn't penetrate the other side. them all perfect that way they don't curl up when they cook all right oh, that's a good idea i didn't think about the curling up part yeah so we'll put them on the grill here all right we got some salt and pepper yeah we'll lay them on cool. i'm gonna try to hide out of the wind guys i mean that tentacle has been sticking to everything i was kind of playing with it earlier <laughs> This looks like we're eating like clear gelatin. Yeah. Kind of looks like a fish fillet. Yeah. Pretty hot. I think it's about the other. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> the boat's rocking. Wow. Oh, and mole it. Oh. So if you guys know what a sea keeper is, it actually helps stabilize the boat so it doesn't rock too much, but every now and then it'll cut short and turn off and the boat will get to rocking like crazy. So that's what that just was. Now it just kicked back in, so now it's settling out. All right, a little S and P. S and P. Or P and S. <laughs> That's how I cook everything, salt, pepper, and butter. <laughs> Here. 
probably flip them already. Yeah. That's real nice. Dorothy Marie. Let's see if I can get it for y'all. Charters out here. This boat is based in where? North Carolina? Yes. So he does the charters out of North Carolina? So. I love how this grill is tucked in this corner out of the wind. Check out those grill marks. Oh, it's gonna be so good. Oh yeah, this is looking tasty. So we just melted a little butter. We'll put the tentacle pieces in here. Soak them in the butter. It's all about the butter, really. Yeah. Seafood and butter can't go Ooh. wrong. Mm -hmm. Just kind of stack these. We gotta keep an eye out on them balloons out there. Hopefully one goes underwater pretty soon. This piece was a little tough to bite into, but I think it's because it was the piece that was like near the top of the head. But it has such a good flavor. Honestly, squid doesn't really have a distinctive flavor. It's just like very plain. It's kind of whatever you flavor it with. Exactly. It's like, it's kind of like conch. Conk doesn't really have a flavor either, but it's good. It's like, it's different. It's kind of refreshing. Is there anything else you put one on there? Oh, I'm happy with salt and pepper, but do we have garlic? Garlic, garlic I usually put on here. better, I know. Some roasted garlic and herb seasoning. Herb? Why not? Put it on a piece. We have limited supplies out here in the ocean. Well, I guess in the bay. Or in between Boston and Cape Cod in the bay. Last night we caught these squid off the dock in P Town, Robinstown. It's an interesting place, let me tell you. Oh, you went ahead and put the herb seasoning on there. Not bad. It's good. If you thinly slice this up, put it over a salad. That would be delicious. Mm, that would be so good. Anthony, you're the mom. Thank you. Mm. That's a good piece. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So a really cool thing that Anthony and his girlfriend Kenzie do back in Florida is they do these farm boxes. Bee pollen farms. Coolest idea ever when he told me. What do you guys do? Um, we grow all sorts of fruits and vegetables on the farm in northern Florida. And you can subscribe and once a week get a delivery of the fruits and vegetables that we grow on the farm delivered to your house, which is a lot of people love it, and we get to share what we grow with everyone else, which is pretty nice. How many boxes are you doing roughly on average right now a week? 300 to 350. It's a big operation. Yeah, it is. Right now, it is only local. Yeah. So if you're in northern Florida, be sure to check out Bee Pollen Farms. Super cool idea. You even do honey too. Yes, we have honey. We do honey. We do eggs. Um, all Wonderful. sorts of stuff. I'll put all the information you need to know about Bee Pollen Farms, the Facebook, the Instagram. Super cool. Check it out. If you know anybody in the northern Florida area, send them his way because it's a really cool to support locals and to get fresh food. Right now, I think we're going to get back to tuna fishing. We're on the Dorothy Marie charters. This boat is actually based in North Carolina, but we are off of Boston right now, tuna fishing. The owner, Andrew, super nice guy, very genuine. Everyone on this trip has been such a pleasure to film with, such a pleasure to fish with and to just hang out with. But 
this video is ending right now. <clears throat> Be sure to subscribe to the channel, give this video a thumbs up, check out Anthony and Jason Tail Fisheries, your Instagram too. Yes. He fishes all over the place. But for right now, I will see you guys next time. See ya.